a glorious June day at the Chatham Historic Dockyard seems the perfect setting to promote a play about pirates. But a pantomime? Well, with tickets already selling out six months before the curtain goes up, it's actually perfect timing for Joe Pasquale and the cast to be donning their costumes to promote Peter Pan this year's panto at the Orchard Theatre Dartford. As he took time out from his press call and entertaining the crowds, your Kent TV were able to steal a few minutes with the King of the Jungle, who plays the part of Smee and is director of the production. Uh, Jeb Squally, thank you very much for talking to us, first of all. Right. Uh, this, for you, it's ideal, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Not that I've been away very much anyway, but I've done Panto for 24 years, so to, to do Dartford, which is one of my favourite theatres in the country, the Orchard, and, uh, and it's my first year directing as well. So, uh, and every year, I've done Panto for I said, 24 years. I've done Peter Pan for about 10 years on and off. And I've always felt there were certain areas of the show which weren't quite right, that should needed lifting, this needed changing. So this year, uh, I've got carte blanche to do what I like with it. Playing Mr Smee, it's a part made for you. Yeah, I don't have to act, I just have to go and be me. <laughs> and, uh, and Mr Smee is just a 12-year-old boy, really. I've lost a bit of weight, but only off my hands. <laughs> so none of my gloves fit me anymore. I've got all wear idiot mittens. But yeah, I love playing Mr Smee because um, he's the comic foil against Captain Hook's you know, uh, nastiness. And uh, all the kids love him. You've had a busy few years, dare I say, since uh, I'm a celebrity? Yes, it's always, been, it's always been busy, but um, it took a different turn after I'd done The Jungle. And uh, I've never stopped since, really. I mean, I think of... Uh, I'm. I'm a celebrity, then we went on, of course, to um, Price is Right, and yeah. literally, it's been relentless for you. You never looked back, have you? No, not since I twisted my neck. And uh, no, it's been fantastic. Hey. Really. <laughs> you never lose it. But it has been a fantastic few years, and um, all the bells are going off now. Uh, and uh, yeah, I did an audience with. I've done a few films now. I did a film last year called Halton Here's a Who, which was a massive uh, uh, film, 20th Century Fox with Jim Carrey. Um, there's a cartoon series running at the moment called Frankie's Nice Cat, which is me voicing the cat. A uh, new series uh, for Virgin One called Bingo Lotto. There's loads of stuff going on, but um, I am really looking forward to getting my teeth into the panto this year and being able to direct it. Completely different medium, isn't it, doing live performance rather than telly? Yeah, um, live performance is, is completely different than anything else anyway, but the panto in particular, you can rehearse and rehearse and rehearse, and there's always somebody missing in that, and that's the audience, because uh, it's just an interactive show that, that it doesn't work without an audience. Well, Joe, thanks so much. Can I just ask you a few tips, though? I've got your hat on, and I must yeah. say, I'm not sure it's really me, to be fair. I think it is. All you've got to do now is just go, give me a... a har. a <laughs> You're like Johnny Depp's mum, that's what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> About her age, I think. I very <laughs> dare you. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Book your tickets now on 01322 22 Julie Maddox, in Chatham, for your Kent TV.